girls and boys of the Northeast can be seen across the country working in spas, beauty parlors and hair cutting salons besides other shops and organizations. The owners of the beauty clinic seem to be preferring youth from our region. Let's find out why. Beauticians and hairstylists from the Northeast are hot favorites in parlors, spas and salons of Delhi and other metropolitan cities. In fact, one has to just step into any good outlet and one would willy-nilly see youngsters from the region at work. Most of these youth have received training in their hometowns and then ventured out for fresher avenues in metropolitan cities with the hope of getting better pay packs, more scope for future advancements and living a life full of charm in glitzy towns. Sonia Golmei from Manipur is one such enthusiastic young girl whom we met at a skin care clinic of New Delhi. Sonia has worked in her hometown Imphal before coming to Delhi. Here in the national capital, she learned advanced skin care techniques like know-how to do laser treatments, chemical peels, etc. Life in Delhi, she says, is good. Manipur is in Delhi because I get a lot of opportunity here and I am working on Skin Plus. I work on Skin Plus. Skin Plus staff, everything, sir, ma'am, everything I support. And I live in Chirag Delhi and I haven't done anything wrong with me. यहाँ का जो अपॉर्चुनिटी है ना वो मणिपुर में नहीं मिलती क्योंकि मणिपुर में डिस्टर्ब होती है लाइक बैन होती है एंड स्ट्राइक होती है इसलिए दिल्ली में पीस होती है। The parlors management, like the management of other beauty care clinics of Delhi, vouch for the dedicated hard work and good temperament of these northeast girls and boys, and say that they are the first preference for the clinics and clients. I will highly recommend them. They are very, very loyal and nice. I will give them the first preference. After the initial stage, like they have a little problem with the language, they are fantastic. Really good. It's time now for a short break. Stay with us. We'll be right back with some sports news. मौसम यहाँ कदम कदम पर बदले बोल यहाँ संस्कृति के रंग हैं अनमोल यहाँ भाषाएं अलग हैं पर दिल नहीं यहाँ जाति धर्म अलग हैं पर लोग नहीं विभिन्नताओं के संगम की ये धरती है असम की अनेकता में एकता यह आसाम का विशेषता Many things are happening on the sports front. Let's catch up with some in the next section. Altogether, 26 sports persons of Assam received encouragement and a bonanza from the state government in the form of financial aid distribution on the 30th of July. In a gala function held at the conference hall, Chief Minister's Block in the Assam Secretariat of Dispur, sportspersons of the state were rewarded with cash prizes ranging from Rs 50,000 to Rs 125,000 depending on stature and certificates by the Assam Chief Minister Shri Tarun Gogoi for getting medals in recognized international championships. Sports people who could not attend due to being away from the state like Janta Talukdar and Shiv Thapa were represented by their family members. Sports associations of the state too were similarly rewarded for their stellar role in promoting sports. A sports website was also launched on the occasion 
which was also attended by state sports and youth welfare minister Sri Ajit Singh. Assam has produced many well-known sports people in different disciplines. From martial arts, swimming, boxing to athletics, many sports persons have made the state and country proud. Assam Olympic Association through Madam se हम लोग 50 लाख पार जीत दे रहा था, लेकिन ऐसे रसिक के थ्रू से इस बार पहले बार मैंने हम लोगों ने दिया है। मत जास्ट टू एनकारेज द प्लेयर एज वेल एज द एसोसिएशन। ये बहुत जरूरी है एसोसिएशन का अगर पैसा नहीं दिया जाए, तो खेल और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा डेवलप नहीं हो सकता, इसलिए दिया है। Next on Youth Folio is our Job Vacancies section. Check out some current vacancies from the region. Company AICL requires graphic designers, visualizers and data entry operators at Assam. The company wants B.Tech or B.E. degree holding candidates. Fortis Healthcare requires cardiology consultants at Imphal. Candidates with MBBS and PGDCC degrees can apply here. Reliance Life Insurance is hunting for sales managers at Gangtok, Siliguri, Dibrugarh and Jorhat. The company wants graduate candidates. Oscar Medicare has vacancies for sales executives at Guwahati, Kolkata and Siliguri. Graduate candidates can try their luck here too. Travel portal EaseMyTrip.com requires sales assistance for ticketing, travel and hotel bookings at Guwahati and Imphal. Graduate candidates can try their luck here too. Models from the Northeast are making their way in the national circuit slowly but steadily. Esther Jamir from Nagaland, however, remains etched in everyone's memory as she was the first girl to have tried and succeeded. We caught up with her recently. She looks fabulous from every frame and in any costume be it Western or traditional Indian. She is a known face on Indian ramps who walks for almost every famous designer. She is Esther Jameer, 5 feet 8 inches tall and beautiful model from Nagaland. Hailing from Dimapur town where she grew up, studied and started modeling, Esther was one of the very first models of the Northeast who ventured out of the region. She came to Delhi in 2001 after winning the Miss Dimapur title and since then there has been no looking back. I can't say it was very simple or it was very difficult because I was the only one and uh, you know I guess they wanted to experiment with someone and something new you know so I was quite lucky you know when I think about that because they wanted to experiment on something new. Slowly a few girls came in and uh, like girls like Moni Kankana Datta I mean she came in and uh, she also did really well before that I think Dipanita and all were there so even Tora Ghazihe was there so girls were actually there it's just that maybe they didn't know that they were actually from North East because they have a little bit of that touch that North Indian touch in them but uh, now that now people are aware that there are a lot of North Eastern girls who are doing well so, I mean, they are, you know, actually accepting us as one of the model from the rest of India, you know. Living in Delhi alone too has not been very difficult for this lovely girl, fortunately. She admits that she did have problems with cab drivers and street loafers at times in her initial days, but she soon earned enough to buy her own car. Today, after so many years in the city, this girl declares that she loves Delhi for its wide roads, huge parks, metro and work opportunities. She has opened a fashion store in Dimapur called Glance, for which she designs herself mostly, but she prefers spending her time in Delhi, leaving her two brothers and parents to look after her boutique when she is not in Dimapur. Talking about her home state, she wishes for more peace and harmony. 
people as well as the government, you know, they cooperate with each other, and especially the government, you know, gives the youth more opportunities, you know, maybe bring in, you know, do, do more for the peace process so that people will actually come in and maybe open up good industries and, you know, create employment opportunities for the youth. So I think it has got, in the end, it's all about the peace thing, which is the most important thing for Nagaland right now. Well, friends, we have to wrap up this show now as we have run out of episode time. But before going, check out the names of the contest winners. For our contest section, we had asked you to name two top chess players of India. The answer is... Vishwanathan Anand and P. Hari Krishna. The winners are... Radha Kishore Koyjam from Imphal, Manipur, Swati Barpujari from Guwahati, Assam, and Vanlal Jika Mar from Shillong, Meghalaya. Congratulations, winners! We will send your gift check soon. For others who want to take part in the contest, answer a simple question. Write back the names of two medal winners of the Northeast from the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. Send in your answers to youth underscore folio at yahoo.com or SMS to 94354-07310. See you all next Thursday at 4.30pm. Until then, goodbye, take care.